What are we headed for inflation like the 70s or deflation like the Great Depression? The current rate of inflation of around 5% we have not seen since the summer of 2008. But one key difference is that summer saw oil prices at an all-time high of $150 per barrel. Some say that oil price spike was due to stimulus checks that people started receiving earlier that year. Some things we do see similar are that the stock market and real estate markets at or near all-time highs. Another thing that is occurring is interest rates kept at near zero by the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve lowered rates due to the, the bursting of the real estate bubble of the mid-2000s. Leading up to the Great Recession we saw a rapidly increasing level of household debt levels. Consumer debt was at an all-time high. Since the consumer was so much barred and with debt this time lowering interest rates alone did not work. The Federal Reserve decided to inject cash into the economy by sending out stimulus checks. The only problem was that it just ended up going into their gas tanks. That summer we also had gas prices at all-time highs. This spike in oil price meant that the consumers were spending more on fuel and less on buying other goods and services. Currently we have high gas prices but the global oil prices has yet to spike up to all-time highs. There could be many factors for this. What made the recession of 2020 different from the Great Recession was the both the length of the recession and the how bad it was. The recession was the shortest in American history. But due to the pandemic there was widespread business closings and supply chain problems. The pandemic saw the economy shrink by 34% in the first quarter. In 2020 the demand for oil was the lowest since the mid-90s. This lack of demand led to overproduction since the oil companies were losing money in the beginning of the pandemic. For a short period oil futures were literally in the negative. As things began to open up, prices returned to, to a more normal level. But with current inflation rates one would expect to see oil prices at near all-time highs. We see many asset prices at or near all-time highs but not oil such as the stock market, real estate and gold as well as Bitcoin. If the markets are really seeing inflation as a long-term problem why aren't we seeing this in the oil futures markets? Another example of signs of deflation are the bond markets. The bond market is saying deflation as we currently have negative real rates. This means interest rates adjusted for inflation. The bond market is a much better accurate measure of the what real economy. What happens to the real economy when the stock market and real estate bubbles burst? The answer is a deflationary debt spiral. As those speculating in these markets get a margin call what happens when people expecting more stimulus checks as well as unemployment benefits realize there is no more checks coming? What happens when the mortgage payments they were deferred have to be paid at some point? The answer is deflation. During the Great Recession, gold bugs were saying inflation was just here to stay. But the gold bugs were wrong as they stimulus checks failed to do anything. The only inflation we see is asset price inflation due to the Federal Reserve's quantitative easing policy. Many people say this monetary policy is deflationary since this money does not go out into the real economy. This time there was what some more quantitative easing for the people but The problem was like what the original stimulus is much of this free money was used to gamble in the stock market as well as in the crypto market. As we saw the average Joe start to invest in the stock market with apps like Robinhood. This money does to go out into the real economy. Those who did not gamble away their stimulus checks. Put their stimulus checks into savings. For many this was the most savings they ever had especially for Gen Z or Millennials. When people save money this is deflationary. The people who did not gamble or save money use the money to pay off debts. Which is another deflationary behavior. The gold bugs and silver investors as well as Bitcoin are saying. Inflation but what if we are headed for the new Great Depression? What if the this time stimulus does not work? The problem with stimulus the more you use it the less effective it is. 
Don't put all your eggs in one basket as the saying goes. People should prepare for both inflation as well as deflation. It's been said that gold and silver preform better during deflation than inflation. But most people in the gold and silver community think inflation would be better for gold or silver. The precious metals investors tend to see. Things in terms of price not value. In a deflationary environment prices could fall up to 90% but gold or silver could remain the same. During the Great Depression gold prices were fixed but stock prices collapsed 90%. In a crash gold and silver prices may fail at first but will raise to pre-crash levels but the stock market would not. This would mean these asset will fall 90%. If you look at just price and you see prices going up and all prices up are you really gaining anything? As the saying goes price is what you pay and value is what you get. In a previous video I talked about the problems with high commodity prices such as silver and gold also means I high oil prices. Check out my other related video in the link in the description and like and share if you enjoyed this video.